Good morning to all my students. Again, I came in front of you with our SS second chapter, mapping of the earth. Is it? We were dealing with our uh, uh, before classes. We were dealing with our second chapter, and the last class, from which point we stop? Ah, uh, we were saying about the directions. Is it? Uh, is it clear for you that uh, it is? Uh, uh, can you be able to say the answer based on directions? Okay, so we will move with the next point. It is scale. We are going to deal with scale. Scale. Uh, what is the scale? That also last class we were discussing. Is it? I think up to scale we were discussing. So today we have to deal with the types of scale. And the first it is in the form of a statement. So no need of giving a uh, uh, elaborate explanation about. Uh, scale. Next, we are going to deal with our uh, uh, scale, linear scale, graphical scale or linear scale. That is, line which is divided in this uh, uh, linear line, which is divided in regular intervals. It is divided in regular intervals, and each part of the line represents a fixed distance that is when we go through the scale itself we will understand that small small lines will be there in between when five then one big line is there again dividing and going one side it is centimeter next side is meter is it so it will be when after taking this chapter just to go through just take the scale and you just go through the scale then you will be able to understand so we were discussing about linear scale the scale which is divided in regular intervals and also each part of the line each part of the line represents a fixed distance each part of the line represents a fixed distance and this uh, chapter's last point that is colors when we go through the map and when we go through the globe, we can see different, different colors. In the first chapter, we dealt with blue color. My dear children, can you remember and say blue color indicates? Yes, blue color indicates oceans. That's it. Likewise, here also we have to deal with some colors. Look here. This colors shows. What this color shows? Color shows an idea about the physical features of an area. I gives an idea about the physical features of an area. And next we have to deal with colors. First, green color. What this green color indicates? This green color indicates low land. It indicates low land. Then next it is blue color that we told. This is last chapter also we were dealing with this blue color. It indicates oceans. Is it? Oceans. Then the next it is in when we go through the map we can see dark dots. Is it? When if you have map with you. Otherwise, when you go through the Google or YouTube, you just take the picture of the map. So, you will be able to understand all these things. Is it? Dark dots. This dark dots indicate city. Dark dot indicates city. Then, dark lines are also there. We can see dark lines. That dark line indicate boundary. Dark line indicate boundary. Then, then we are moving with the last point that is in your textbook last page one small square will be there in that square some two or three points are there that is one new word for you i think in the fifth chapter in the, while you were studying the fourth uh, you dealt with that power that is cartography cartography what is this ah it is cartography so we should know what this is a cartography that is science of making map. A little science of map making is known as cartography. Science of map making is known as cartography. Then we have to understand this cartography. This word is derived from other. Well, this word is derived from French card. C-A-R-T-E card. That is map. 
C A T cart meaning map and Greek word graphia. Greek word graphia meaning writing. So my dear children, the science of map making is known as cartography. These words are derived from French and Greek. French word cart, C A R T E, that is map, and Greek word graphia meaning writing. So today we will saying about what is a scale, different types of scale in the form of a statement, then uh, linear scale, then we dealt with the linear scale, we dealt with the linear scale, then after that we were dealing with the colors, then green color, green color indicates lowland, blue color indicate oceans, then dark dot indicates city, dark line indicates boundary, then we dealt with cartography. That is the science of map making is known as cartography. This word is derived from French and also Greek. French word car means map and Greek word graphia means writing. So these were the points of our second chapter. So one uh, again we, were, we are going to deal with the first point onwards. First we were discussing about map. Yes or no? Yes. Then we were discussing about the uses of map. That also very clear for you. I hope it is clear for you. Is it? Then we were dealing with the kinds of map. Is it? Political, physical, thematic. Is it? Then we were giving definitions about all these things. Then we were dealing with directions. Four directions are there. Is it? North, uh, then west, east, south, is it? Four directions are there. Then east between north, east, uh, north, east, then west, north, west, likewise we were dealing. Then we were saying about scale, what a definition for the scale. Then two types of scale, it's a statement also is the linear or graphical scale also is there. Then we dealt with uh, colors. Colors, uh, what it shows the physical, about the physical features of areas. Then green indicates, then uh, blue indicates, then dark dots, then dark line. And the last point in that chapter was cartography. So we said the definition for cartography, it derived from two words, that uh, French and uh, Greek, that also we discussed. My, my dear children, I hope this chapter is very clear for you. So you will be able to uh, understand after reading the chapter. So as every time I am saying like this, you have to open your notebook. Take the back side of your SS notebook and write the points. So that it will be easy for my dear children to understand the whole chapter. So that uh, it will be easy for your exams also. So our second chapter is over. Then again, after the video, in the WhatsApp, I will send all the notes, fill in the blanks and all the things for you. And fill in the blanks and all the text work, you have to mark answers only in your textbook. No need of writing anything in your notebook. But question answers, you have to give chapter 2, mapping of the earth, Roman letter 1, answer the following questions. Write the first question, then answer, then mark it with a red ink pen. Likewise, you have to finish that chapter. So, first chapter is over, notes over. So, Friday we are going to, uh, every Friday we will conduct the exam. Then second chapter, it's also over. So, be ready for the exam. Prepare well. Have a nice day. God bless you. Thank you.